Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So it is a little bit of maintenance time here. I just got done um, doing my March series videos, recording those. And um, my blocks are quite dirty and I just got done doing my daughter's uh, business cards. So I want to show you. If you can see this, you'll see the residue on the stamp from using the chamois and the stamps and scrub. There's stuff on the stamp. So I do like to do this after paper pumpkin, after every time, not every single stamp I do, but after every project I complete. I like to do a little bit of maintenance on my stamps. Now here is just a spray bottle with some, um, I, this is called that awesome cleaner and I put a little bit of Lysol hand sanitizer in it um, so I'm gonna spray them I have all of my blocks here that I have used are gonna get a good spray down got myself my rag and I'm first gonna clean them like so now you don't got to sit here and watch me do all of them but I give them a good scrub you could take them in the house and put them in some hot soapy water uh, the house is inside. I do that maybe every like three months. I'll take them in and put them in some hot sudsy water and take a non-abrasive because uh, I have learned if you use an abrasive like scurrying pad, yeah, that scratches your blocks up. So I'm just cleaning them off. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take a paper towel since I don't have another clean rag and that one just got all the gunk off of it. And I'm going to give them all a little squirt with the hand sanitizer because the alcohol in this really does clean it really well. So I'm not done. I'm just going over it. If there's any glue or gunk on this, uh, the hand sanitizer, the alcohol in it really helps get it off. So now I have a really nice clean block. I also need to wipe this out. This is where I put my little, when I'm doing a project, I have a basket that I keep all of my stamps in that are mounted on their blocks and I keep them in there until I'm done. So just showing you and I look at them I check them if they have gunk on them I do try to get it off but that one's good to go then I just if there's like if they're still a little damp I just let them air dry in my basket and then I put them back in my little uh, caddy hold on I'll show you I'll pan to where it. I'll move the camera and give me a second. See, there's something like on the opposite side. Now there isn't. Anyways, that's how I go about cleaning um, my blocks. Now I'm going to show you one. This is really gunky. This one has some glue and stuff right there. You see me scratching it. So if I add... Well, I used just what was left there, and now it's gone. But let me pan up here. So when I reach for something, guys, this is my little caddy here, and I store my little blocks like that right there in here. These I haven't, well, I already cleaned that one. Those are up there. My Q-tips sometimes are down here. I have an ink pad here. Farther up, I don't think I can show you, Farther up on top is this basket and my in color basket. Um, oh, you guys can see. You guys see my little tongue bit there. I need to fill my white card bases up. Anyway, so that is what I do to clean my stamp blocks. Um, and it, it's quite simple, but I do start with the spray cleaner. And like I said, my room doesn't have running water out here. This one's really bad. Um, so you guys see me, I have little bottles of spray water. I have several 
This one's just about empty. That needs to go in the house and get refilled. I should send that one in for a refill. And my little pump thing, I just refill this little pump thing I bought. Here's some um, hand sanitizer. Um, this is real liquidy because I added more alcohol to it, especially for my desktop when I go to clean the glass mat. I use this stuff and um, I like it a little bit more, so I just add more alcohol to it. Um, very, very handy stuff. So I take my grungy old cloth that was retired to here. It will retire soon to the garbage can. <laughs> And I'll grab another one out of my uh, basket. See, there's really some grungy stuff up here, which will require the hand sanitizer and a little bit more scrubbing. I mean, I'm not like, it just requires a little extra sometimes. And that is there, see, gunk, gunk, gunk. And I will tell you, that's from that big bottle of Tombow. I don't know why I have such an issue with it, but I do. And I can see there's more gunk like right there. So a little hand sanitizer because it works the best. Then I just go over them, give them a good look-see, and that one's good. This one just had the hand sanitizer on it. Looks like it needs some on the back it makes me feel good you you spend a lot of money on these supplies and it's just like with anything take care of them they'll last longer the more you take care of it the more this is the cleaner and I feel like by cleaning it with this stuff and then the uh, hand sanitizer if there's any residue left over from the cleaner the hand sanitizer with the alcohol removes all that so that's another reasoning my reasoning anyways behind how i clean look at all that that's this one cloth will be retired and if there's anything i miss this is going to need some scrubbing with the hand sanitizer so I'm going to use this. There's glue in there. Yeah, I'm not washing this. This is getting retired after this cleaning of the stamp blocks. That this is retired. <laughs> and, oops, wrong one. So after these two blocks, I'll let you guys go. But I just want to share with you um, if you are wondering how I clean. Because everybody has their own way of doing things. That one's nice and clean, and I know there's no residue now on my stamps from the cleaner. But there's something right there, so let's see. Now it's gone. So, oops, there's more on that side. Yeah, we're going to get a whole new paper towel. So, this is how I do it, guys. And um, thanks for watching. I know this is a quickie. Just want to share with you how I take care of my belongings. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and for being so supportive of my channel. I truly do. You can see what just came off of that. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you visit me again in my wonderland. Now I'm back to cleaning my blocks. Bye-bye for now.